Hey, hey, revolutionaries. Glad you can make it. We are three figures into the Hasbro Marvel Legends Target Exclusive Red Hulk Build-A-Figure Series. And we've got three more left to go. Got the second half of the wave coming up. And we're going to go ahead and get the second half started with Adam Warlock. Very cool character. One of my favorite characters. Probably best known for his, uh, for his uh, appearances in the 90 during the Infinity Wars. The Infinity Gauntlet, the Infinity Crusade, the Infinity... What was the last one? <laughs> the Infinity Crusade actually was the second one. The Infinity... Was it the Infinity War? I guess that was the Infinity War with the with Magus returned. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But, uh, but no, Adam Warlock's story goes much further back than that. We're talking like 70s, 60s, 70s time. When, uh, when uh, Marvel was really kind of taking on their own version of kind of the specter stories of, you know, kind of the metaphysical, kind of the, you know, galactic, kind of cosmic sort of stories. Adam Warlock was the, was the, one of the main characters at the time. Him, Thanos, uh, the High Evolutionary, Silver Surfer. You know, these were all characters that, that were kind of part of these big grand epic tales. And, uh, and that's where I really kind of, really start to dig Adam Warlock and why I think he's a really important character in the Marvel Universe. He's, he's a guy that when you know he pops up, big stuff's going down. So, yeah. <laughs> very much a character. I'm very glad they decided to do him. Really, really cool. Uh, enough gushing. Taking a look at the packaging, we do have Adam Warlock up here in the corner. And then in his four panels, interestingly enough, I mean... Based on the version of him they use here, they've picked the same one from kind of the more recent versions of Adam Warlock, or at least from the 90s version. Uh, they don't have him in the uh, in the um, older costume with the lightning bolt and the uh, and the briefs and so forth. So you know this is the, this again is pretty much the Adam Warlock that I think most people know about nowadays. The one that most people recognize him as. I definitely say go back and read some of the earlier issues, particularly the issues with the with the Magus's first appearance. That's actually really cool. The whole uh, story arc of Adam Warlock trying to prevent himself from going bad. It's actually really really cool. Uh, other figures are in the way. Of course, Spiral we've done. Wolverine, Union Jack. We're taking a look at or Adam Warlock today. That leave the black costume Spider Man and the Silver Savage. So three down, three to go. Collect all six is what the box says. So we'll have a full Hulk, supposedly. <laughs> On his bio, it says, Probably immortal and possibly all-powerful, Adam Warlock has lived many lives, Occasionally created, originally created to be the perfect human by a mysterious organization known as the Enclave. He escaped into the world with his mind as blank as a slate. His innocence led him to narcissism, which, turned, which in turn caused him to commit great acts of destruction inadvertently. Fling his earth troubles, he wrapped himself in a, cocoon, in a cosmic cocoon where he slept and grew until the High Evolutionary found a use for him and Warlock, and Warlock found his purpose as, savior, uh, as a savior. Through his adventures, he has died many times. He has always returned when needed and may at this very moment be awaiting another turn on the, sto- on the stage of history. Sorry about that. But yeah, I mean, he's kind of uh, he's kind of one of the uh, one of the uh, 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 I guess uh, oh I don't know what, how you want to refer to him. He's kind of like an ace in the hole for Marvel. That when something gets too big or starts to become you know too much, they can always pull Adam Warlock and then just write themselves out of a problem because <laughs> Adam Warlock is quite literally you know. He's a Buku guy. He's actually pretty Buku powerful. Uh, his height six two, weight two hundred forty pounds. Real name Adam Warlock. Uh, identity known, alias him. Uh, affliction, affiliation the Infinity Watch. Uh, powers cosmic awareness, cosmic energy manipulation, super strength and endurance. Um, yeah, there's a, there's just way too much I could go on and on about Adam Warlock as far as uh, as far as when he uh, he founded the uh, Universal Ch- uh, Church of Truth and later found that uh, that as its head he eventually became corrupted and became the Magus 
and how the whole story went back to him trying to undo that timeline so he never becomes that villain. And yet with the Infinity Gauntlet, he dispels good and evil from himself to become a neutral possessor of the powers. And by doing so, he creates another version of the Magus and the Goddess and just all this other stuff that was going on. Uh, uh, it's, it, he's just a really, really cool character. I definitely recommend, you know, if you've got the time, if you've got the chance, try and read up on some of the stories. If you like real deep cosmic adventures, real deep stories, Adam Warlock has always appeared some of the best ones. So I, I, I think he is a very cool character. Uh, we'll pop him out of the pack, see how well, did, how well they did on his figure, so we'll be back. Okay, well, <laughs> um, like the uh, like the comic character he's based off of, I gotta admit the Adam Warlock figure is strange. <laughs> uh, it's something where um, he's probably one of the least Marvel Legend Marvel Legend figures I have come across, or that I, I own, uh, because, um, I don't know, somehow, I mean, I've stood him next to other f- characters, and scale-wise, he's a fairly tall character, I mean, he's, size-wise, he's okay, but in the, in the torso, and just the, and just the, uh, uh, scale of the body, he's, he's very thin, he's very kind of narrow, very small, you know, I, he looks a lot more impressive on camera, I guess he looks actually pretty good on camera, but uh, but in person, yeah, he doesn't quite fit when I put him with other Marvel Legend characters. He just doesn't look like he belongs in that series, mainly because I, I'm guessing they didn't reuse a whole lot from other places. They might have, but probably not a whole lot. Uh, for the figure specifically, the only major issue I have, well... But yeah, the only major one I have is uh, when I pull back the panels that were from uh, the packaging, you know, one very distinct characteristic on Adam Warlock is that kind of spray-on orange tan he has. You know, he has kind of this orange t- uh, 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 skin tone, kind of this golden tan, and very, very blonde hair. Here, this Adam Warlock is just very... Beige. I mean, the 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 face, the sculpt on the face, I think is a little more severe than uh, than Adam Warlock, though. You know, depending on uh, on the person doing the art, you know, the the sculpt on the face, the chin, it's got a very strong chin. You know, it could very well be the case. I mean, that could, this may not be a bad face on Adam Warlock, but the color. You know the kind of the, the the regular kind of skin tone that he has, and the fact that his blonde hair, which here is almost kind of this very shocking yellow, you know, almost matches his cape, and here it's just sort of this kind of hay sandy brown or sa- sandy sandy blonde kind of color. It just it 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 doesn't seem to capture Adam Warlock very well. That's the biggest disappointment I have about him. Is just the, that the the skin tone and the hair are completely wrong. I mean, even when it comes to the uh, to the uh, style of the hair, you know, Adam Warlock has kind of this part in his hair off to the side, and here they just have his bangs hanging down in the middle. So maybe this is a, a, a version of Adam Warlock I haven't seen as far as how he has his hair, but certainly the skin tone on it is completely wrong, and it, it's it's really distracting. Again, the sculpt is good. The sculpt is nice. The hair is sculpted nicely. But, you know, as good as a sculpt can be, as, as well as they can sculpt a head and, and hair and a face, you know, it, it, if it doesn't conform to the colors and, and the style of the character, you know, I really have to go and kind of wonder how well they, they, they did this figure. You know, how well did they do it? The body is just a regular kind of generic male form. The uh, gloves, the, the mid bicep gloves, the mid thigh uh, boots are just painted on, so there's no sculpting that they did to it. They did go through, and I'm sure because of the Adam Warlock they're trying to depict, gave him the Infinity Gauntlet. 
So he's got a whole hand that's a fresh sculpt, kind of an original sculpt for his hand. It's just too bad the Infinity Gauntlet sculpt just doesn't look that nice. Again, you know, this is a this is a Hasbro figure, so there's not really much in the way of dry brushing or washing. So everything's a very flat color. And against something like the Infinity Gauntlet, where it's kind of this flat, kind of orangish color, and the gems are barely dotted on there, and they're not even metallic, they're just kind of the primary colors, you know, it kind of loses something. You know, you're not really getting the impressive Adam Warlock that the character really is. Uh, on his articulation, the head does left and right, up and down. Arm comes up, twists out, no twist of the bicep, bend at the elbow, twist at the elbow, and twist to the wrist with a hinge. Uh, on his, uh, on his uh, uh, torso, uh, we're seeing what later it became more abundant with the uh, Marvel Universe figures, where it's just kind of this mid-torso pin, no twist in the waist, and the legs are a lot like spirals, where there is the pin that goes inside the uh, inside the torso, so the leg can come up and out, or out and up and out. But you have to twist the leg forward, and then the knee, which turns, twist it forward that way. So you have the leg here, it comes up, and you can twist it out, and then back down. Now, it's pretty tight. Out, out, and then back down. But then you have to turn the knee back around to face the correct the correct direction. Fortunately, there's a V cut on the boot, so you know which way is is forward. <laughs> Uh, the knee does bend. Single single joint the knee. Twist at the boot. Hinge at the foot. Come on. Hinge the foot. And a twist. Uh, he does come with his cape. Now, it's not attached. It's not as loose as I've seen on some other figures, like Moon Knight. It's not that bad. But it's not a fix, so it does flop around a bit. There's a way of actually unpegging it if you want to do that, but in this case, more than likely going to go ahead and keep it on him. Um, in the way of accessories, he actually does come with a weapon, his, I guess, eagle or bird staff. It's actually a nice sculpt on it. Again, it's just molded out of a brown plastic, but it has little uh, uh, lines and so forth in it, kind of showing grains of wood. Actually pretty cool. Uh, for the one hand, it is sculpted closed. So this will just kind of pop in like so. And for the most part, I mean, you definitely get a very grand Adam Warlock type of figure with the accessory he comes with, the Infinity Gauntlet he has on. If they just would have gotten the face right. If they just would have gotten the face just... A little more work, guys, and this could have been a very good figure. Probably one of my favorites. Um, as it is, because of the fact that he's completely different in his sculpting and the articulation, and the fact that he really does stand out among all the other Marvel Legends figures, I gotta say, he is... <laughs> Sorry, Adam. Uh, probably one of the weakest in the line, in the wave. Um, not the worst, I don't think, but... Okay, yeah, he may be the worst. He may be the worst figure in the set. It's, it's disappointing to say, just being an Adam Warlock fan. Uh, he does come with the leg. I guess this is the first leg we're getting a look at for the Red Hulk. Very big old foot. Looking very nice. Uh, pretty soon we'll go ahead and we'll get, I guess, the other arm and the other foot. But for now, I certainly thank everybody for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Join the revolution. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.